right, here's my uh, my first impressions of the Outlaw 180. Uh, this is a Quantum Quad from uh, Hobby King, and this is uh, their version of uh, a quad racer. Well, at first, when I first saw this thing, I was uh, I was a little skeptical about purchasing it. You know, being an all-in-one board, uh, CC3D uh, board with uh, integrated uh, 20 amp ESCs. So I was like, yeah, for the money, you know, it was $150, but if you wait and leave the the item up in about 15 minutes, uh, Hobby King will offer it at a one-time offer for like 136 bucks. So all I had to do is I added a Lemon RX, and um, I have that down in the bottom down here. I don't know what you can make out in the video. But uh, that's what I wound up putting in there. And all the FPV gear that I wound up putting in there is the Fox Ear uh, 600 uh, TV line camera and uh, 600 milliwatt uh, video receiver. And I'm using um, a Blue Whip uh, race band antenna. And this is also a race band uh, uh, receiver. And all that was purchased over at Heli Nation, so you could check them out for, for any of uh, what you're seeing here, other than the quad itself. They don't uh, carry Hobby King items, so but they do carry motors and props and what have you. Uh, also doesn't come included with it are the motor guards. These were made by a friend of mine, which is uh, Drive and Fly RC. There's, a, there's his car there. Give him a little shout out. And uh, also, what else about this? So I could tell you a little bit about. Uh, one thing is, is the props. Now, the props, they say they could sling 5-inch props. If you notice, on the back side, they did notch to accommodate for any type of flex. The front, they didn't do that. Uh, what I had to do is I added quarter-inch spacers and added uh, four longer, actually five longer screws because I had to bring the top plate up because I'm telling you the clearance already, you can see the clearance I already have, but it doesn't hit. It's not flexing this much, so I'm not having no problem at this point. Uh, the tolerance between uh, the stock is, I mean, you're talking minimal. I mean, if your prop flexed up just ever so slightly, it would hit the top plate so this is a must so by doing that you wind up losing your front camera mount because now it becomes too short so and I tried to contact Hobby King on this and they don't want to have anything to do with it it's pretty much buyer you know you buy it fix it yourself you know it's just it's a flaw on, on their end but now as far as the quad the way it flies I'm telling you this thing freaking flips it rolls it I got the PIDs down perfect for this thing, and that was help from uh, Drive and Fly RC help me with the PIDs on this. And I'm telling you, this thing hums on three cell. And if you go with a four cell, which it is capable of running four cell, and uh, so is the the FPV system. It's uh, good up to uh, I forget how many volts it was, but I'm. It's all Fox here. You can look up on, uh, and get the specs on that if you wish. Uh, what else did I do to it? Uh, the bottom plate. Now, the bottom plate that they give you, this isn't the bottom plate that came with it. Uh, I added it. And as you can see, this is what they give you. Now, this is supposed to protect the motherboard. And the motherboard is just sitting just right above it. Now, with this one that they give you, the flex on this, watch this. Look at that. That's ridiculous. Now, if I was to slam that on the bottom, that would press ham right against that board and probably snap that son of a bitch right in half. So, aircraft uh, carbon fiber, and that solves that issue. I had a friend of mine that I fly with, uh, works in a machine shop, took care of that for me. And uh, other than that, very light, very light quad, very nimble. Um, only thing I'm really not liking right now, I'm uh, thinking about lowering the, the top, um, top plate.
cutting off right in here and then mounting the camera mount upside down and um, this way I can tilt my camera up a little further I wish I can get it up just a little more I might even just notch it this part out right here but I'll uh, shoot up some of my other video of uh, me actually flying this and you know check it out you'll really like it for the price you can't you can't beat it for the 139 bucks 136 bucks now these little ports right here I call them I tried to ask Hobby King what these pins are for now they're saying they're for the ESC's for updating the ESC's now as far as the ports on either side I'm really unsure of uh, what uh, goes in there so if you have any uh, clue on what them are for please post it up uh, LEDs uh, the LEDs these came with it uh, there are five uh, five volt uh, LEDs I tapped off of them and put some outlaw believe it or not they sell um, outlaw LEDs and um, it's a company that uh, I've been dealing with and they have uh, outlaw FPV I believe they're called and uh, they sell these awesome awesome super bright LEDs and they run off a of 3.7 all the way up to 7.4 and let me tell you these suckers are really bright got the green in the front red in the rear and they give you white and yellow uh, weird combination but uh, they seem like about the same size as the Lumineer uh, so I might change them out and put the Lumineer ones in there. Maybe they're a little brighter. Uh, let's see over on this side. You got your CC3D board integrated into the into the board, and your USB for doing your updates. And then if you look right there, that little white spot right there, right below the cable, that is an on-off switch for the board. Very strange. I always leave it on, but uh, haven't really touched that. Other than that, it's a very light build. Uh, did the the green going all the way around the frame uh, with uh, this paint marker here. You can get these at Michaels, get them at Walmart. It's sort of kind of like a, a, I don't know what kind of paint it is, but this one here happens to be a, a lime green. All right. So that being said, and uh, then that, once you put that on there, you could take some... Uh, clear nail polish just to coat it because it almost has like that chalky feel to it same thing i did with my antenna you know the blue the blue wood is blue so wanted to match it up and let's see what else did i do oh and also mounted um just a protector plate right here just for the wires just in case i don't know if i get caught up in any dirt or twigs anything like that just don't want anything poking at the the wiring uh, not too keen about having the wiring down at the bottom. I'm sure it'd probably be an easy fix to somehow get the wiring to come up through the top and then have it come down through. But uh, all in all, I'm very happy with it. it. Seems to be a good size, easy to carry around, nice to keep inside the vehicle. Uh, what else here? Uh, counter and clockwise uh, motors and also hubs so you don't have to worry about your prop nuts falling off uh, it comes with one strap i added um this little doohickey here because one of my uh battery wires hang off of here i will take this and wrap it around the battery cable just to keep it tight just out of props harm's way uh, and that's pretty much about it. Not much else I can do. I like to get a, an alarm on here just in case if I lose it out in the deep grass. But can't seem to figure out a way other than maybe hooking it up to one of the channels on the Lemon RX. We can see how that works. If you have any ideas, please post up. Thank you very much for viewing. Get yourself the Quantum 180 Racer. Also comes in a 270 size. See ya. Doesn't
Fog, haze and sun Fly fast, day and night Right, light, up and away That's F, P, V For me, all looks great Above them all in open skies My dream, flying, falling, turning F, P, V In the night when it falls, when it crashes And it's flying and it's lying in the fields To be found, it's getting hard to return To the station you're not losing to control You're flying F, P Dive into clouds, into trees, over mountains, over valleys, meaning close to the rocks and the rivers. Ever sitting in the forest, watching video transmission and remote controlling FP. Never stop exploring, far, far away. Immersion battles fighting, no game today. High up the air is burning, dive in the trees. Strange, weird, RC aircraft flying free.